Idi kwa haki sisi. Haka inde hichilema. Haka inde hichilema did not. Uh, sorry, I'm blind. Haka inde hichilema did not ex did not explain. Listen to what he says. Minister of Finance. I was Minister of Agriculture, I was Minister... I would deal with the two ministries. Now, you see, he says he was young. I want to say from the outset, this is why government has created the Katombora Reformatory for young criminals. It is not because you are young that you cannot be a criminal. But uh, Katombora Reformatory is there for people who are young. So the story of him being young is not there. I want to say that uh, the behavior of Haga in the Hichilema is equivalent to Nebo in the Bible. My and goodness. I draw him to 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 1 to 42, the story of Nebo and David. Nebo is, in the Bible, is a very rich man, but he lacks wisdom, he's self conceited, he doesn't respect anyone. He doesn't create any relationships. When he opened his statement on the air radio station, one would expect yes. that at this point of development where we are at the age, we need to create developments. If he has been lucky not to be booked but by the Anti-Corruption Commission, he should those, just uh, keep quiet because he channels, should eh? say yes. he's lucky. Of agriculture, just look. You asked him for my loan. That's not quality. We wanted to restructure Lima Bank and we gave it Grand Ton Ton the opportunity to advise government on receivership. Mind you, on receivership, they went ahead and did a liquidation of Lima Bank. Now, I just want to mm -hmm. is he able? to produce the bid and the price, which gave him the house in several Road where he's been residing until we moved to Mukamuya in Lusaka East. Oh, this God. is the Lima Bank house. Oh, Under our current laws, and even the previous laws, that is the theft and that's corruption. Wow, you what? cannot give a public officer, and you are not a public officer just because you are in government. Wow, he was an advisor to government. Mm. So to the extent that he, Grant Thornton was a receiver for mm -hmm. him, and Hakainde alienates a house to himself, mm. that is a theft. Wow, He's lucky if he hasn't gone to Katombora. Because He's lucky you are lucky. visited him. You are lucky. You haven't gone to Katombol. Under my watch, as Minister of Finance, Uko? we were selling Intercontinental Hotel in Livingstone. Haka in the, the, the foreigners were there. He brought them as the advisor. And when they had stood up, I said, Mr. Ichirem, do you think this six million is a fair price for the government? I, he's a professional. He's young and... Uh, I, I, it's not wrong to trust a young mind. You think that these are Zambians, as the late Ronas Benza put it, let us use our fellow Zambians to advise. You think that this is a Zambian who has the interest of the country at heart. His answer was, yes, Madam Minister. The price of $6 million for Intercontinental Hotel in Livingston is a fair price. Yes. I mean, he says I was sleepy. Thieves come when you are sleeping. That's why they break in, they come with guns. However, the very next day, when we had finished the transaction on the Intercontinental Hotel and it had moved to be Southern Sun, Mr. Hichrema became the chairperson of the new owners. Isn't that a conflict of interest? And there are Further stories, you talk of Ramco's receivership, there were issues. These are the issues that people want him to clarify. At what point did he become a millionaire and even start to have money in foreign but, accounts? Uh, explain more on when it comes to, uh, I mean, uh, Intercontinental Hotel in, uh, in the Southern Province. So when you say the six million is okay, so, I mean... I mean, he's... he's, 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 he's so what was wrong with that? 
there was nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. What is wrong is that the very next day, he becomes part and parcel of the people who have bought the asset. He didn't declare that he would have an interest. What was the deep rob? Look, uh, that's the point I made that uh, he's lucky if he hasn't been probed. So he shouldn't start to verify, verify others and say he didn't know he was sleeping. I mean, if, I, if we trusted him to do these jobs as a Zambian, it doesn't mean we were all shocked and surprised that uh, you could actually use both sides and jump this side and that side. I think that's conflict of interest. That's uh, not acceptable. It's, it's something that is not acceptable. Then you come to the issue of rampos on the copper belt. There were the receivers. They should tell the, the public and say, this is what we did. This is how we got our money. And this is where we got the millions. Prior to privatization, how much money did Mr. Againi have? He should say that. Prior to him moving to Savo Road, where was he, was he living? What is the value of that house that he got from Lima Bank? How much did he pay? Where was the bid advertised? Was it a solicited bid within the firm? All those issues become issues of explanation. But as I said, you see, if you refer to uh, uh, First Samuel 25, 1 to 42, there are people even in the Bible who have this attitude that when they have money, no one else matters, they are useless. Even in Abbot, he said that David was not a good person. He even refused to give food to David's uh, uh, invoice and say, look, I can't give you food. It was just himself. And this idea of thinking that you are the most intelligent and no one else has any brains, I think that is self-defeating. Hagainde must learn that building bridges and making relationship is important in politics. Each time that they on their side open their, their, their statements to talk about me, it's either, no, Nawaku is going to be Minister of Finance for Lungu, no, Nawaku is now uh, defected, I have even been appointed by websites like, like Postway Party. This is in their attempt to try and, and, and bring others down. And this should stop because really when people ask, all that is required is for the president of UPND to say, listen, I got my wealth like this and this is where I started and this is where I am. It's no need for him to get angry because everyone can bring out their notebooks. Okay, this is what he said uh, when it comes to privatization. The people who saw the money were the MNB government. They are there, they are still alive. Mr. Chikwame is alive. Uh, it is now up, he's alive. They are all there. They are 29, 30 years old. I've said this before. No, but no, I think 29, 30 years old. I share my which belongs to the government. We are the queen. Why is that's a valid question from him. Mom. I mean, were you sleeping? How, how was he allowed? I, I, if at all you got away with murder, who stand there? I think, I think that it's very, very important mm. to understand that he says one thing there that he was very young. No, he says and that he, because he was young, he couldn't be caught. That's why I'm saying that he's lucky. I don't think that's what he's If saying. he was young, that's why we have Katombora. I don't know. The question I ask him today is very clear. I am saying he got a house in Savile Road without declaring that he was doing a misdemeanor. Now, if he hasn't been arrested by the law, he hasn't been visited. Well, he should continue to say that, that is Mualikwis. Now, you can't say, I have stolen because the owners are sleeping and go boasting around. I think that's totally unacceptable. Can he actually tell us the bid price for the house in Sebo Road, how much he paid, and why they as Grand Tonton, who were the receivers, ended up sharing the houses with among themselves? Those are issues. So when you say he wasn't visited, because in this country, the only corrupt people are those in government. Those who are outside looting, 
using government means I never followed. I think you saw that when we left as MMD, a lot of my colleagues were in jail, were sent where. Even now, the people who are being followed are those in government. Those who were adv advising government have never been on US dollars as receivers for for Ramcos. If that was given to the secretary, to the treasurer, or to the minister of finance, you think they would have survived? And go two years later and say, no, they have money in offshore accounts which they can't explain. What type of business does Mr. Hakainde had to be able to have millions of dollars in offshore accounts which he declares? Now, this a gentleman, the president of UPND, does not only end here in the, these assets, he goes even in the villages. There's a, there's a person in Zimba who, is, who had a stroke, I think, about last year or the other year. They list a farm in Kalomo to hire in the HGM as a business. And he goes back to them and says, you people, I've paid you, but they don't have a rent. So the rent is equivalent to the sale price. The stroke. These are some of the issues. If you look at the uh, Naminwe uh, area where he just arrived and grabbed land for his own grazing, how can you do that? I mean, as a commercial farmer, you can't be uh, saying that you are, you are a rich man, but you are grabbing communal grazing land. Because commercial farmers that we have seen, they grow grass to feed their animals. You can't be saying you have 20, uh, nine uh, farms and yet you are grazing on communal land. A commercial farmer has to grow grass to feed their animals. We have farmers here, just here around us from ZRC. They graze in one area. You see them bedding grass to feed the animals. Have you ever seen Mr. Ichilema bedding grass? His, his way of raising money is to pride on the communal land. And I, for me, that I don't have time for. So. If someone has been lucky and have, the law has not visited him, one day the law will visit them because people will go to him and say, tell us how you acquired this house, this asset, that. He, 27, he says he was 29. He was 29, he had no cow at the time. How then did he end up after privatization being such a rich man? That's the only question that people want to know. That's all. I mean, he needs to be firm enough to come to the, to the public and say, this is my history of my wealth. I got one animal, I got this farm, I multiplied, and this is how I've been. I was living in this house before I moved to Savoy Road, and how did I get this house? Explain. And you will understand, Zambians are very forgiving. But please, this issue is like a boil. It continues to fest until he can squeeze it. And the only way is not to behave like he, Donald Trump and hide your records. The best way is to be open and tell the public, educate them. Look, we were receivers on Ramcos. This is what we did. These were the reports. And this is anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the live broadcast. But uh, my take on this one is that uh, much as I have issues with HH, I also have issues with the uh, Nawakwi and all those that were in government at that point. Because surely, like she has uh, said herself, that uh, HH told them that uh, Intercontinental in Livingstone is costing $6, six million dollars. If she didn't agree, if she had any doubt, why didn't they do a due diligence? Why did they trust HH to do everything? Why not check whatever he's doing? Because when you employ somebody, I mean, you, you need to check whatever they, are, whatever they are doing. You need to check whatever they are doing. You can't just uh, heap the blame on a, a consultant because that consultant is supposed to be supervised by you. If you are not satisfied with the job that he's doing, you're supposed to question him. And Zach asked the, the Nawakwi a very valid question. Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you take him on? Eh? And they can't answer that. So, in as far as I'm concerned, I agree with HH that yes, the Valikui, eh, they were sleeping. 
HH saw that these people were sleeping and he took advantage. This is my conclusion. HH saw that the MMD government, the people that were in government at that point, including Wanawakwene, they were sleeping. But what he did was also wrong because he took advantage of the situation because they were sleeping and he, he enriched himself. For me, that is where I have an issue. Now, I, let me close my the live, uh, this live broadcast because I'm doing something else. Thank you. Okay, go off. Yeah, that's not a valid reason.